production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review number 68 for March 16th, 2008. The Time Traveling Crocodile. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes. Can you tell me which map are we on? This one might be a tough one. You may not have played on this map in this place. What if I were to do this? What about now? What about now? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on Wolf Hetze today. And uh, I am, of course, your host, Bridger, for Tales of Heroes here on the GameFire Network, tales.gamefire.com, or if you want to send us an email, tales of at gamefire.com is how you can reach us. We have an excellent game here for you today. This is a game on Wolf Hetze, as we just mentioned, and we have the Americans and the British versus the Panzer Elite and the Germans. But what makes this game extra special is that two of the players are myself and my co-host, Rogers, who joins me right now. Rogers, welcome to the show. Thanks, Bridger. It is a timely pleasure to be here, Ooh, and uh, this was a game we played uh, yesterday, I believe, and it was a good deal of fun. I mean, it was a really crazy game, so I'm looking forward to everyone getting a chance to see it. And we played against uh, Sefi Ram and Luis 8, and uh, we were talking before the show, I wished we'd had the commentary of what we were saying yesterday, because it would have been really cool to throw in here. But um, we'll try and relive that for you. And, of course, we have a guest co-host for this show as well. If you listen to the audio show, you'll notice that. Uh, for this show, we have the uh, the one and only Pounder, featured on last week's video replay review. Well, thank you guys for having me on the show. It is quite the honor to be, uh, to be on here and watching this game. Hopefully, uh, I've heard this game is going to be pretty intense and awesome and... Lots of destruction and hatred. Uh, hopefully you guys don't relive that and scream. But uh, Listen, I'll turn yeah. my mic down if I'm going to scream, okay? <laughs> I do that every time. No, I don't. <laughs> I should. All right. All right, so let's get her started. Um, we're at the five-second mark. We're going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Now, what I'd love to do is point out a couple of things about this map. Wolf Etzer has the three victory points, one in the middle, one in the upper right corner, and one in the lower corner. And the main focus that, that forces the main focus of the map to be on this right southern side of the map, where the victory points are, and where there's a plus 16 munitions and three plus five fuels. So that's a big, big focus of the map. Um, so we'll see how it goes down here in a second. Interestingly enough, uh, the British player chose to build a trench where they were going to dig in for the game. <laughs> oh, there's no way we could get there before they were done. We tried. We were like, oh, I'll build bikes and we'll try and bike span to get to the guy before he builds a trench. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Actually, I was just trying to counter the first mortar emplacement we'd have out, well, but since the trench was there, it kind of stopped everything, and the killing of the bikes ensued. <laughs> that's what we'll see soon. He actually built a lieutenant to cap his first point, so that's what made the British strategy so effective, is we were hoping to rush to the middle to, uh, to have units there that we could kill his trench as it was building, but we didn't count on the fact that he was going to not use his first unit to cap, because most people use their first unit to cap and move their truck immediately as soon as they get the chance, but uh, he didn't. He built a lieutenant to cap first. Uh, meanwhile, the American player used a single engineer start and built a rifleman right off the bat, and um, so, you know, once our uh, plans failed, I decided that it was time to uh, cap their strap point, but since the damn Vickers can reach the strap point... That plan <laughs> fell through also. Uh, and then Here comes bikes. the Harley Davidson convention. Yeah, the Harley Davidson convention. <laughs> Anti trench haunts on the bike. They took so much damage from that first volley, I was like, oh crap, my plan has already failed. <laughs> yeah. If only bikes could cap, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we need German raid. That's yeah. what we need. So the cat, okay. meanwhile, is doing its job. 
That's about the only thing in this game that's gone right for the Axis, is the Ketten has not failed yet to, and has not died. I was, I was, yeah, I, I, I was not expecting that much infantry to be centered around the middle so quickly, but I did, um, his lieutenant, I caught him out in the open. <laughs> I got him. Yeah, that's oh yeah, nice in the right back there. there, the bike just got him. Yep. I saw him. It would have been good to put him in the trench, but he wasn't paying attention, so quick yeah. loss of the first lieutenant means no extra veterancy for yeah, you, but no! But no! Oh no! What's going on? Hans! Your car! No! <laughs> it's okay, I'll get up! Oh! He almost got away. And that, yeah. oh, that sound is the other bike exploding. But there one! There's way. still one left! I did, I did I kill that was his a first lieutenant. Yeah, yeah we killed his first lieutenant. That might be worth Hans and <laughs> his brother Hans and the two drivers who are nameless. <laughs> or what, no, he's the driver. What do you think about what do you think about the uh, the opening bike strategy, uh, Pounder, about trying to get you know enough early fast harassment out there to stop British emplacements? Do you think it's effective or a liability? Uh, eh, yeah, it's it's both. I think uh, it's it's a good idea if if you know what you're doing. Um, and uh, you guys look like you you thought what that, that that's what they were gonna do, but unfortunately they decided to do the free trench thing. Um. Uh, but I do, I do like how you guys were able to actually take out. Uh, you used your uh, pioneers well in that in that previous engagement and took out the uh, rifle squad down to three men. Didn't lose a single pioneer by using that cover. So you know, despite the fact that you had less infantry killing power in the beginning, um, you're still able to kind of keep the keep the American player on his toes, even though he went with that one rifleman start to get you know enough manpower out there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's that's that that's a very risky start with the uh, with the motorbike. It is effective, but <laughs> yeah, you got to kind of like predict or be able to see what they're doing. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. To, it's tough to do. Yeah, and I was planning on uh, opening the the fuel in the middle as a delaying tactic to keep the British and Americans off it, so they wouldn't be able to build emplacements closer to the center and completely cut us out of the center. But he overran me and he got the Vickers up before I could do it, and that Vickers is. A really pivotal point in the axis. I mean, the Allies just holding on to that center. That thing was devastating. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it basically covers everything to the left of this locomotive. So the entire, you know, area that we might attack if we came from that direction was lost to us. Um, now, my goal was to get out the fastest mortar half-track that I could because I realized that we were going to be fighting a lot of emplacements in and, uh, and the trench. The only way to get him out of that trench was going to be to to hit it with an incendiary round. So, uh, my mortar half-track came out as fast as possible. And he actually got a very fast Bren Carrier Vickers as well, which helped him out a lot because we didn't have any Shreks for a while, so we couldn't counter that with anything really effective. Yeah, my first MG didn't feel like firing and died without that. little gain, so I was very angry at that point in time. I got MP40s yeah. up on the Volks, I was yeah, hoping to try and knock out both his rifle teams, but unfortunately he got into the church, <laughs> and now, that kind of shut down my idea. He wasn't paying attention though, he lost a rifle squad on the right. I just had a single yeah. squad of Panzer Grenadiers shooting at it while it capped, and it <laughs> killed it. So we, we, yeah. we, we, he got the MG, we got his rifles, it's been a pretty even game so far, and Look at that. We actually got one of his uh, rifle squads as it was retreating as well. So yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's pretty close. You know, he's got control of the middle, but we did a bunch of manpower damage to him. So um, taking back the southern half of the map, which we've managed to control thus far. The Vickers yeah, the, uh, is really the... killing us, though. Oh, it's really, really oh, yeah. bad. Um, so they, they pretty much have middle rather uncontested right now. We're harassing a little bit. I'm bringing up my second MG. And uh, Bridger's got his uh, mortar half-track there to just sporadically bomb anything that they try and cap. Um, but if you'll notice in the north, Seth got his supply depot up fairly early, too, at uh, around the oh, yeah. close to the six-minute mark. So he, he was able to get that really quick, thanks to the British and their, um, their awesome free resource sharing. Well, actually, in this case, it wasn't, because he didn't put his... Yeah his HQ on him. fuel actually he put it on the munitions that's, yeah that's true he says I don't think that MG was worth a uh, rifle we quad <laughs> 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 and one thing actually, I always notice when wait a minute when I'm in the, the HQ 
the HQ truck isn't on the 16. I think he meant to put it on the 16, but it, he didn't. It's still on the strap point. Because otherwise the 16 would be a plus 26. Yeah, that is true. That's, oh that that Ooh. does happen sometimes. You just you just point and click it somewhere because it looks like it's in the territory and it actually isn't. Um, I think, yeah, Bridger, yeah, you had an incendiary. No, you were just using the... Um, Incendiary or mortar to try and get that trench, but unfortunately, yeah. he just deleted it. Oh, so it. stupid. Dude. I mean, the whole point of the trench is, you know, it's really tough, but you have to force people out of it. You know, and forcing the British out of it means you can take advantage of it. But look at that! Wow. The Vickers and two rifle squads like insta killed my uh, my Grens. I was hoping to run in there and try and steal the trench, but he deleted it on me, and he had a lot more forces than I thought he was going to have there at the at the time. So that was a big loss for us. Yeah, yeah but was... you guys did a good job with these piles harassing on the left hand side. <laughs> um, that's that's definitely I that that would make me think. I'd be like, uh damn. And a quick yeah. AC, uh <laughs> Yeah, that would I would be like, oh no. How did he get that already? Because <laughs> all they have are fixed emplacements at this point. Yeah. Um Unfortunately he does have um armor piercing on the machine guns and I was hoping oh, to be does, able yeah. to just run away from it but uh, <laughs> unfortunately yeah. that didn't work I was like just run oh wait that's water no wait he's trapped oh damn <laughs> so that and, was that uh, was a see, badly was... executed escape I would have been able to if I was just kept going to the right here or something that would have worked then I would have had the armored car but I, I got a few of the British there I got some kills but meanwhile the he's got airborne and rifle squads from yeah. the Americans taking the whole right side now. This is very bad for us. Yeah, we were in deep trouble here, and I was I was planning on countering the first M8 out because I had a Pack 38 out because I figured Shrek's miss way too often, so screw it, I'll go with something a little bit more reliable. And uh, packs are definitely awesome, I must say that. But uh, the oh, yeah, I don't know if anybody mentioned that we got this. This is actually beta. So oh yeah, yeah, this, this is, is uh, the beta. This is probably the last beta replay we'll have. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. That's one of the reasons why I, I would definitely do the sh the, the pack thing too. I found packs u more useful than people, you know, give them credit for that. That that camouflage ability. <laughs> that is first strike that is, is nice. Really yeah. unexpected. Yeah. Unfortunately, first strike can miss, which is really freaking lame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the AC going after the lieutenant. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. You may notice that I actually correctly ran away from the. Uh... <laughs> From from the Vickers this time. I heard him using the armor piercing. I'm like, I'm out, I'm out, boom, I'm gone. This is it. See you later. I'm just gonna move it on out. So I managed to get yeah. it back to the base and get it repaired. So yeah, my micro's improving even as we watch the game. <laughs> now this is a big devastating loss for the Americans in the south here. They did a big loop through, if you remember on the right hand side with these two squads. But the, I quickly took care of them. Yes. Watch this. Oh yeah. They that actually run bad. right through a freaking gauntlet. <laughs> the MG. They had four oh, guys no. left in that squad. They had four guys oh, no. left. That was yeah. devastating. Jesus. Right down, like, MG Central. And his other guys are just like, Oh my god, look what happened to Charlie. I'm out of here. <laughs> through the same street. That's very good street. prediction, though. Same street they take. That's very good prediction. Thank you, Retreat yeah, I, Logic. I, I just wanted that MG there because I knew they were going to try and harass again, so I was like, you know what, the hell with you, I'm just going to do this, and you're going to definitely pay for everything. <laughs> Look and at everything running down here. <laughs> Kettengrad in a half-track with no gun. Yeah, <laughs> like, just block him, just block him. No, but I send the Ketten down to cap so we could move his guys somewhere else, hopefully, because um, yeah. I knew we were going to need the capping power on the right-hand side here. So, yeah. this whole time, what I've been trying to do with my mortar half-track is just you know, lob as many things as I can, add as many things as I can, but uh, it's yeah. a somewhat even distribution of resources. They've got the whole right-hand side, and we've got the whole left-hand side that we're now taking back the south here. Uh, but meanwhile, the American player had a big defeat there. He's got a triage center, which is very good, because he used a lot of infantry mm -hmm. early, so that was a big boon for him, especially going airborne, because those guys have a lot of health, and if you come back with a squad that only has like half health, it's going to be so much less effective. Here was our huge push on the uh, on the middle sector. We were determined <laughs> to take this back. Unfortunately, we didn't coordinate very well, and no. the armored car went in first, and my infantry decided to cap because I was I was being very intelligent. But well, that captain I, I, is I was, in trouble. Yeah, I was hoping to just run in there and be like, maybe I can see what's going on with the armored car and he can get out if it's in big trouble. But, you know, we yeah. got to put pressure on the middle before they bunker down more. We can't let them get a 17-pounder up and stuff. And then I'm like, oh, snap, an armored car. 
and yeah, we don't and have anything. Pack up on the right. Yeah, the pack's just taking too long. Yeah, it's on the wrong place. I I had gone for armored cars, so I did not have um, Panzer Shreks. You know, I didn't have Panzer Shreks. Overdrive, overdrive. <laughs> oh, the Panzer Faust does little. Oh, that's yeah. disappointing. Sad. It was a front shot. It probably has armored skirts. That's probably what that means. But, yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to do here. I'm just like, I gotta retreat these guys. There's nothing I can do. I got nothing I believe I was hard. screaming M8 mine here, yeah. You yes. gotta watch yeah, out. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. That's I saw bad. him placing it, too, yeah. Yeah, good. Because I was definitely... I didn't want you to hit that, because that would have given a lot right there. And yeah. the British player is correcting his mistake of not having any anti-vehicle, and he's building a boffers, which was big trouble for all our light crap that we had. Yeah, yeah that's horrible. So I guess and then I, I saw the boppers and I was panicking, but I decided to get the Bren carrier because it had lived too long. In my <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. But right see, there. the retreat pathing is absolutely retarded. And like, let's go in front of the church, in front of the, I mean, in front of the train station. Durr. You know, yeah. it, it almost lost me a squad. And you're going to see that a lot more throughout the game because ooh, the retreat ooh. pathing is just terrible. I'm very proud of this. I actually saved the Kettenkrad confronted by two enemy <laughs> units. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, get him out. He's got to go! Yeah. And he made it. Oh, whoa. I always lose my damn oh, Kettenkrad because wow. I'm never paying attention, but I did. <laughs> and that makes me awesome. Actually, no, it doesn't. But, um... Good harassment by the American player on the left-hand side. Well, we made that big failed push in the middle. He took, you know, cut us off and took the resources on the left that were ours, so... Oh, yeah. And, uh, Flammenwerfer up by me trying to do some awesome things, but unfortunately it was too late. I got that thing too late in the game. Yeah, but really I mean, if the American player hadn't gone so heavy duty quick for a uh, motor pool, that might have yeah. been good. But he did. He went straight for the armored car, which <laughs> countered everything that we had because I had gone straight for an armored car. But you know, yeah. the P Panzer Elite armored cars aren't are nearly as good at killing other light vehicles. So um, I was very upset at this point. <laughs> it took us a long time. Took me a long time to get Shrek's because we were so low on fuel. We just had the two fuel points here plus five and plus five, because they had cut us off on the <laughs> left, so yeah. I took so long to get the damn Shreks. Oh, it hit the M8 mine, that's... Uh, I didn't even notice that, I happened. was wondering what killed it. I Ooh, thought nice, the M8 nice killed pack, it. Though. Nice pack shot there. Yep. Yeah, I, I had two packs, see, one in supporting role in the back, and then the other in front yeah. to deliver it in. That's that was good placement. That that got him out of there. He's like, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> but I did lose my Flammenwerfer with no gain at all. That's unfortunate. 100 munitions down the drain. Har, har, har. Yeah, so right now we're very yeah. low. We're taking back the left. I decided to push some guys up left because it'd be the easiest thing to do. Um, we were also very low on munitions, too, I believe, during yeah. the game. We did have a plus yeah. 16, but it was... Uh, and we had the plus 16 over here, so we had a decent amount of munitions income at this point, but they had still cut off that south earlier. And he finally repositioned his HQ to put it on the munitions point there. <laughs> <laughs> he found that after a fashion. And uh, let me see. It looks like he's got a casualty clearing station back here, uh, which is going to help him out. And, was there uh, a reason why you build another uh, motorcycle at this point? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was just going to get to that, actually, because, you know, I was wondering what they had in the middle, and since Bridger had his mortar half-track, um, well, he did earlier, but I was just going to use that to scout and get better line of sight so my packs would know what was coming before it would actually hit. And you notice oh. how I'm salvaging the, uh, the infantry half-track as well. Yeah, that's very good there. Yeah. No munitions, I wanted them. I needed them, I was terror. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we got a lot. We got a pretty much a big lockdown in the middle. It looks like we got AT now from uh, the American player, the 57 mil, and then we got oh, plenty man. of anti-infantry. Yeah, uh, that's horrible. It yeah, is. I got a they blob a lot of, fuel of stuff at my too. base, which is you know <laughs> yeah. all great, but I don't know if it's going to be able to take the middle with my micro. So we've got armor. Oh, that's when we were armor. contemplating the American base rape, right? Oh, is it? Yes, yes, yes. This is where we're like, okay, they've got the middle locked down. But the American player's base has got to be just sitting there. So let's just charge it with everything we have. Unfortunately, your stuff was strung out on the right-hand side. Yeah. And uh, I was like, we just got to go because I was retarded. So <laughs> I don't think he realized it was coming, though, still. So I think we wound up, I wound up, like, slowly pushing on the left here and taking this stuff back while you moved your guys over. Yeah. I was focused on holding the right side because I knew we needed those resources. That was crucial. Because if we did lose that attack wave on the left, we definitely need resources to to rearm and resupply and get up to our former strength. So I was definitely determined to hold the right hand side. I got my packs positioned, grenadiers all over the place. With one with Shrek and the other with uh, LMG building sandbags. 
And, uh, looks like we got a... I think that's a... Recon. Yeah, it's a recon. Center. Recon run. Almost crashed into... It crashed into a building. Okay, that's reckless. Okay, the, wow. The plane did? And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the plane yep. crashed in the southern building. Wow. And it revealed my Pack 38, unfortunately, which I really hate. And look what's coming. Look what's coming on my, uh... On your Pack oh, 38. Oh, no, on my Pack. And it destroyed the glider. <laughs> <laughs> the glider crashed too much. Oh, wow. That I was, was so really lucky for that us. Happen. We, oh, I, wow, Rogers that... was cursing on vent. He was like, God, fucking, I'm gonna lose the pack now. And then nothing happened. And we're like, I'm like, hey, man, it didn't die. It, 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 it blew up. <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> That's awesome. Because that I would have lost awesome. both my packs. That yeah. would have been terrible. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Definitely. That was hilarious. So yeah, like, lo looks like right now, um. I was. Oh, <laughs> I was I was very pleased. Before commandos went out. I don't know what killed it. The, pa the pack didn't get a shot off, did it? I don't think it did. I think oh, it just no. got destroyed because it, it took too much damage it. crashing through things. Which is kind of yeah. cool. I didn't realize that would happen necessarily. Um, I was very, very pleased. Now this is kind of cool. Uh, he dropped, unfortunately he dropped the pack 38 and I just circled around it with my armored car. He did get my oh, martyr no, a couple of hit. times. Oh. Oh yeah, there it goes. That was so here comes bad. all the infantry, and uh, since since Bridger only had the three-man squads, I decided to take uh, the AT gun with my MP40 Volks and use that against his base buildings because AT guns are <laughs> amazing against uh, base buildings. So I, I oh, decided no. it would be awesome and do that. Oh, and he actually used a grenade against the armored car. That's interesting. Yeah, that was weird. I don't I know think if he, he did was that trying on to hit the grenadiers actually. So oh, really? repairing these guys oh, it did here. did damage to it. That was really. Uh... That was weird. So now we're going to have a tough AT. run because we don't have anything that's going to take out this machine gun emplacement except Shreks, yeah. which are going to get killed by it, <laughs> and a Martyr. And your Martyr, which is low health, yeah. Low health, yeah. So I, I realized this armored car is probably dead anyway, so I wanted to see what they had. And there it goes. Oh, it has vet. No. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it had vet until after. And then I and then I saw all this infantry coming, well, this one squad, and I was like, oh, crap. AT gun's in trouble. So, oddly Quite enough, that it, it was good that the, the machine gun fired at your other squad first, because it allowed yeah. my Shrek guys to get in there. And somehow... Really good <laughs> by the M8. Yeah, that's really annoying. I was very angry. Somehow... Oh. Just, oh, no. Here we go. Oh, my. And it killed... Oh, no. It popped out this time. And that's going to be I big, just had to uh, run. I couldn't do anything. I... Yeah. yeah. Don't so, ever try to fight uh, vet... Uh, I'm commandos with unvetted infantry ever. Don't ever do it. You'll lose every time, no matter what it is. Well, no, if it's like, if it's like significantly more, but look at these guys, they're on fire! Oh, this is a cluster... Well, you know, it was terrible for us. I lost all of my anti-infantry infantry, which I had charged in there hoping to do some damage, but they, they met flamethrowers and bars, and it was just not a pretty sight. So, uh... Overall, that was a disaster for us, because now here comes the Cromwell to finish off my Martyr. About the only thing I got out of there, I think I got the Mortar Half-Track out of there. Yeah. It's like, time No, the move. Mortar half tracks sitting next to the nope. Strat, uh, the, that point, and it's and there it goes. Commandos. I think he got killed by, yeah, got killed by Commandos. <laughs> well, Commandos and a Cromwell. Yeah, well, the Commandos got <laughs> the finishing shots, that's what's funny. Oh, boy. And then I decided to OP the munitions, um... To keep up the war effort, and I built tier four because I knew we'd need a heavy tank out on the field as soon as possible. And I think I'm floating manpower right now, Pounder, and that's probably because I'm waiting for a Panther. Uh, yeah, you're get you're getting up there. You're getting close, yeah. but definitely reinforcing your squads at this point. It's uh, yeah, not a bad idea. Um, but I I don't know with that push. Uh, some people could say that was a failed push. To me, if I were to see all that crap in my base. <laughs> And realize I just lost my machine gun because no one ever rebuilds their machine gun in their base. Yeah, right. You you pretty much pushed them back and and made them so that they had to drop a AT gun and pretty much consolidate all their infantry back there and. Uh, it prevented that would them from making an attack my on our on our southern resources yeah. anyway. Probably, that's the biggest. Yeah. Thing it diverted that came from attention, it. which was really important. Yeah, and it caused them to drop another what five sixty on. Uh, on manpower for the commandos, so... You know. Which they're now going to use to take back the left-hand side. I think later we don't... Yeah. He must have like left his commandos there, and I think he forgot about it, and we forgot about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to send a squad to take this stuff back. And then, I think it was Rogers. He looks over later, and it's like, dead. He's like, damn it. 
sees, yeah. sees the fog of war closing over commandos, and he's like, "Gah." Oh. <laughs> you bastards! And we're busy now, fighting on the my right. Pios dang it. Are moving. My my pios are trying to salvage, but unfortunately, there was a glitch where it wouldn't let me salvage the glider, and it took forever for me to figure out that I just had to move them around the glider the other side. And I was uh, <laughs> he's consolidating he's sandbags like, hmm, here. What's this? Yes, I see how it works. Ha ha! Excellent. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll salvage their ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> See, now they do it for a little bit, and I think they're going to stop now. Wait for it. No? They're yep, they're going to they stop. Yeah. And nope, Attention they keep going. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, and now All I right. switch sides because I'm completely retarded. Alright, well, that works, I suppose. What were you guys thinking about doing over here on the right-hand side? Well... We knew that the middle, like, look at the middle right now. 17-pounder, 25-pounder, Vickers, <laughs> everything. The British have the center. There is nothing. We could not penetrate the center probably with two Panthers. So we gave up on the center, and we were going to push right, because I love the right, because I remember during the uh, OF beta, I would always pop Fallsherms out there, and everyone would always forget about the right VP, because it doesn't quite show up on the mini-map when you bring it yeah. up. So everyone's like, well, I guess nothing's wrong, and so I decided um, to move in. <laughs> And I, I, I was very adamant that Bridger move his units in separate uh, sections to mine because I was afraid that a strafing room would just wipe both our whole push out. I was really scared of that. Yeah, so I was trying to keep my guys slightly yeah. separated. I mean, it's hard to keep you know two squads from being in a line, but you can keep three squads <laughs> from being in a line. So that's what I did here um, as sort of a Shrek screen, as it were, to prevent them from pulling like the Cromwell over. But they still got lots of their stuff on the left. You know, they've got AT guns, they've got Cromwells oh, no. on the left, all, like, <laughs> anticipating another big push over there. Nice prop. Thank you very much, yeah. Prop oh, yeah, propaganda war. war. Brings those guys back. I was God. not going to tolerate them at all, no way. Just like, go away. Unfortunately, I didn't know how close the HQ was, so they were right next door. <laughs> <Essentially>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the LMGs were doing really good, I was glad I... Because <laughs> LMGs and buildings do really well. <laughs> go over there! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what, do you, what do you have for a time there, Rogers? I got a uh, 2435 now. All right, that's 30. about the same here. Now is where it and gets interesting. Ooh. Look at Whoa. all that beautiful infantry. All right, we're gonna pause oh it at 2450 God. here, okay? Okay. All right. 2450. Paused. All right. This is absolutely Sorry. insane. Look at this. This is a massive amount of uh, Axis firepower, the likes of which you've never seen. The commando squad people. that was there is now... Let me see. Uh, On the way out. Has yeah, one kill. The, yeah. <laughs> it has one kill, and it has two guys left, but the sliver of health isn't even visible on the regular oh. map. you got to look down here to find it. Um, yep. So it's bad news for them. Oh, no. I mean, this is the penultimate, this is what Hitler likes to see, let's put it that way. Uh, we've got, you know, you got two two rifleman squads, uh, three rifleman squads versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Panzer Grenadier squads and one, two, uh, two Grenadier, three Grenadier squads, and many of those Panzer Grenadiers have the MP44 upgrade and Shrek upgrades, and uh, so yeah, this is just asking for what appears to be uh, probably a howitzer barrage. Or not howitzer, because they're American, but um, it's probably a... Uh, would it be commando artillery? Commando. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't yeah. get Tetrox in this game. He went straight down the right side instead. Yeah, he did. All right, so let's just take... Let's just admire this panorama. That's so awesome. All the dead too. rifles in front of the fence, you see that? <laughs> like three dead bodies yeah. there. <laughs> rifles Too are drunk dropped. to move. Too drunk to move. All right, so uh, let us unpause this craziness and see what happens in three, two, one. Unpause. So right now, as soon as we found that headquarters truck, we're like, dude, let's just get it. So we brought our Shreks over, and it was like in no time we were able to crush it. It's, you know, this is the exposed part of his line. <laughs> I propped the bars. <laughs> Prop the oh. bars. Oh, but here came the 25-pounder. Oh, yeah. Oh, we managed man, to avoid boy. most of it, though. We had our guys yeah. fairly well yeah. spread out. That wasn't very well aimed. And then, uh, I was just telling Bridget to there. pull back, because I was like, we don't want to lose one, all our guys in one, like, giant cluster. Oh, and there I lost one big squad. 
that was actually uh, the accurate one. And I'm like, this is the most retarded thing I could have done, is, is retreated through the enemy's middle. <laughs> yeah, see, this will cost us a lot of units here because of the lovely AI retreat pathing. And there he goes. He dies and leaves Shrek a Shrek in the right middle. In front but of the MG that was really my fault. I shouldn't have hit the retreat button. Yeah. I'm just so used to doing it, but we were way behind enemy lines. That was a huge mistake, too. And you have a panther and with a oh, Shrek yeah. backing it up. Oh, yeah. And the, and the Ketten, unfortunately. Oh, no. And then he was trying to clear out my MG, but I just felt like not letting that happen. Yeah. So Look at that armor right shot. Cromwell loses oh, half. My Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, oh, that probably no. had a little bit of damage from the uh, Shrek, but I think we oh, get yeah. it too, right here. There's no way it gets Very out nice without dying. Right there. Yep. That was great facing. Yep. That panther's taking no damage. <laughs> uh, right into a tree. And then I remember Bridger was planning on massing mortar half tracks to get the artillery superiority here. Yes. Rather so that's what I want to do. They're mortaring your base. Yep, they are. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we guess saw what this. I'm like, sending to respond to that mortar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice cross. Okay. Now oh, there you go. Uh oh. <laughs> God, they just they just turn around the corner like they're going to a shopping there mall. There we or go. Something. That that but while that was happening on the right hand side, we had a strafing yeah. run that did manage to kill Ooh. one of my squads. It was one of my Shrek squads, and it didn't even drop a Shrek, which made me mad. But uh, he missed the other three squads, so I was able to dodge it. As soon as I saw the recon coming in, I knew it was time to start moving. Yeah. And yeah, I knew I needed veteran seat oh, because, because uh, oh, yeah. I had no vet, so I was like, okay, it's time for a uh, KKC, seriously. But this was, such an, that tank vet. this was such an annoying position to hold, because if you look at the minimap, oh, yeah. we had our cues for, like, you know, the the guys to come out of the building where they would go, like, way down here, near the fuel, near the munitions point, and then we'd have to manually yeah. bring them up there, too, because we didn't want to click up here, because then they just run right They'd through the They'd go straight base. through, yeah, I had a few squads get stuck in the middle, and I some I think one even got wiped out, I was like, where, where did that squad go? Oh, okay, that's great. Commando, I like how you guys uh, finally realized that you're shooting an IED over here on the left-hand yeah. side. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> and then he told me that. He's like, oh my god, look out, it's a commando demo <laughs> charge. <laughs> oh shit, my god. So then we ran away. I built an Osman because I was feeling like uh, having a great time. And you're at PopCap, which is... Uh, I am. I was very upset at that. <laughs> I noticed very I good had... defense on the right hand side, I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I built sandbags for the grenadiers. Yeah, that was very, that's very cool. This, this is LMG cool. team is doing so well in that yeah. building. <laughs> and this would have been wrong. really well if it wasn't for that damn flame crocodile, but I'm still de you know, that's determined tough. to kill as okay. much of this stuff as I can, because I've got... Oh boy! I've got, you know, I've got MP40s and I want to use them, that's all there is to it, so... Yeah. Bridger was screaming, oh. kill the croc, kill the croc, kill the croc! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that did sound like me. So, uh, yeah. now I'm like, you know, maybe if we oh, hold wow. this, we'll win. I, I, the original thing is maybe we could just distract them. And, uh, they're like, wait a minute, we could just hold this, it's working. And it's like, how are we going to hold this thing? It's so far from our base, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. Until we lose a Gren oh. squad in one fell swoop. Ouch. Yeah, yeah that's horrible. And the other one has to go through the freaking. Oh, but a lift. mortar squad! Oh my god, I didn't see that in our game because it's in the fog of war. But my mortars just insta killed that. Must have been a sapper squad or something. <laughs> I just saw like six, five, like four, five plus five XPs pop up. And look what's on the field on the far left. <laughs> oh yeah, here a comes. Nice this is, the, oh, this no. is the time my Jagged Panther comes out. Oh no. We were very happy that that was there, God. trust me. This is a huge we turnaround from that massively failed push on the yeah, middle and then on his base. And they're also building a 17-pounder right here. You made them You made them very, very timid. <laughs> by putting, yeah, I, was, by putting I knew if they got that up, that would be very bad. Because that was... Well, they, they're, they're using resources now in top yeah. cap to put a 17-pounder just for that panther. <laughs> you see the Osmonds kill that AT squad that was coming down? <laughs> just obliterated <laughs> yeah. them. They even hit the ground, they were still dead. Yeah, and we managed yeah, to I get, uh, I managed to get an incendiary round on the 17-pounder as it was being completed. I'd hoped to get it yeah. before it was completed, but that didn't turn out to be yeah. the case. <laughs> wow, what? Whoa! That grenadier grenade did quite a bit of damage to that 17-pounder. Yeah. yeah, grenades can actually hurt right right on the placements pretty well. Oh, crap. Commandos. We got oh, really wait. lucky. <laughs> oh, nice. oh nice. no! Propaganda war! <laughs> Thank you for playing! Please try again! 
Come back another day. Spend another 560, please. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. Yeah, I knew I was going to sacrifice that Gren squad, but it was worth yeah. killing that 17 pounder. I had to get that sucker. Oh, no. What did you just call it? Oh, no. <laughs> more, Why? more commando artillery here. Look at those more rifles. Those guys are survivors. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, they are. Those two yeah, rifle squads, I think, get more kills than anything that uh, is in the game. Because I remember seeing triple yeah. vet rifle squads later. They're just, they just keep coming back. And they yeah. just keep dropping that artillery, and we keep moving out of the way. I can't believe how long these mortar half-tracks survive. They must have gotten hit by like six direct hits from the, <laughs> from the artillery. And they survive There's every time. There's something overpowered on the left-hand side moving right now. Uh-oh, a yes, Jagged Panther awesome. and oh, a King God. Tiger? Hmm. <laughs> Now, see, here's where pathing failed me. Again, I send it straight to the right-hand side, and guess where it's going to drive? Along with the Grenadiers. Right in front of a 17-pounder. Oh, and, um... As it yeah. casually looks over. What yep. is that? <laughs> and it misses? <laughs> God. And so he retreats the Grenadiers. And then I realized that was a bad idea. Yeah, GG pathing. Well, I mean, I mean, there's not much you can do. You can't tell the pathing. If you know the enemy is somewhere, don't drive through it. I mean, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> but then we found a field support truck. Yay! Let's have fun! So then I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm just like pounding on my keyboard to tell the Shreks to get over there. Because there's nothing guarding this top half. He's still built only the emplacements on the bottom section here. Yeah. And I was determined to get repair bunker spam up on the right hand side too. Yeah. I, I think that, that was very, fake commando or smoke. Idea. He got me with that one. I was not yeah. aware. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love the, the those defensive vet MP forty fours. They are oh, yeah. keeping the oh man. And and look how so he winds up having like three AT guns that he airdrops in here and just loses like instantaneously, <laughs> yeah. which is what helped us a lot. <laughs> Whoa, huge! Ooh. Oh man, that was a brutal strafe here, and he got like oh, two yeah. CPs after that. Yeah, he got he got a lot of my he got. One of my major defensive vet, you know, infantry squads yeah. there. He was he trying to pack it up. <laughs> oh no, this is another he mistake. Got it too. I oh, hit retreat no. again on those guys. I don't remember. They're, they're single vet. They might make it. They might make it. Oh, no, they no won't. Chance. And finally, my KT makes it to the right hand side of the map and it's deciding to obey its orders now. <laughs> yeah. And the repair bunker looks like it's up and it's going for the panther, so that's going to help. Yeah. Uh, Where's the panther? The panther, panther, panther took a lot of damage over here, yeah. It did. Killed two tanks, yeah, it's though. Got a lot of kills. Oh, yeah. That we got two right tanks on the uh, Jagged Panther, too. But look at this. Mortar half track with 14 kills. The other one is brand new, I think. I replaced one of them uh, by this yeah. point. Yeah. I'd lost one See, from the 17 pounder. The King Tiger's taking so much damage now from a trench. Look at that, well, from the Piots and the, the yeah. Shrek. It's already down to half health. I mean, <laughs> rear armor hit. <laughs> and now an AT gun's being dropped. Wow. I was hoping my pack would start firing on it, because I moved that up from the train station, and it didn't. <laughs> it was yeah. like, well, I don't really feel like firing, so screw it. Oh, this yeah, is nice good because here with the uh, mortar half track. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna get a double incendiary round coming in in a second. Ooh. I believe that's what finishes <laughs> it off. I'm I like... OP'd both the the high munitions, by the way, too, in the south. That's a good idea. Yeah. And more more uh, bunker spam. Maybe that wasn't it. I love it in the bait. It they work. God, that's yeah. awesome. They're actually doing that. I forgot. I think I I sent my uh, pyo squad somewhere when I didn't finish the bunker because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and then here comes all my grins back from the field. I I, I, I had popped medkits earlier, and then I was walking by his uh, stuff only to see that he had defensive operations. Like, ah, oh, shh, dang it! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I built. I but built I was an moving HQ both my here. packs up because I knew that they were probably going to push with some armor because they had a lot of fuel and a lot of time on the fuel. So Ooh. I was I was wary. And I, I figured that they weren't doing any good on the train station, so I might as well move them up to the front, you know? Oh, no. And that here's was... where they pay off. Check this out. Watch that firefly. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that thing's gone. Oh, no. That was a bad idea. Bye. Oh, no. A pack killed it. Yep. Yeah. The pack got, uh, it's, it's, you know, I've just come out of camouflage, and that makes me shoot more damaging rounds at you. <laughs> Kill. Yeah. 
critical oh, shot. Oh, look what I have. A little, little, little present of joy on the oh. road. Yep. <laughs> Why did you build a Goliath? <laughs> because I wanted to do some good, but it did nothing. <laughs> no, but no, it didn't. It's okay. It's okay. And my motorcycle also just bit it. Oh, no. That's terrible. Oh, oh here's the incendiary it. round. There it is. Oh, I think the incendiary, goodness. yeah. One on oh, the trench no. and one on the boffers. Oh, he had a captain bad. with a Shrek who just hopped out of the trench. You guys see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there he goes. Good God. <laughs> that was good. The P.I. Wow. just runs uh. away. I think the boffers winds up taking damage, too. I think it dies. Yeah, this no, it Yak King Tiger take forever to repair, yeah. so you won't be seeing combat for a we, while. We were sitting over here. Every time they attacked, we'd try and defend with the Yag and the King Tiger, and they take more damage. I'm like, oh, we can't attack yet. It's not at full health. <laughs> oh, nice oh, prop on those yeah, fire up there. I didn't want that to deal with them. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I love prop. It's so fun. It's just like, yep, I don't want to fight you now. Go away. It's Especially in the Americans, because they're all the way across the map. Oh, yeah. They must not be very happy, and I reinforced my two-man LMG squad to four men again at the Ford HQ. Yeah, and we I both got, got Ford HQs there. up here now. Yep. It's the yeah, only thing funny. that kept us in the game, honestly. If that Ford HQ hadn't been there, I would have never been able to reinforce all of these Grenadier squads that I've got uh, yep. running around. I've got a bunch more here. I just kept nailing the Grenadier, the Panzer Grenadier key, and there you'll, you might see them sitting down here for a while because like that's the yeah. that's the point where they're where they're queued to. <laughs> I thought I'd go in with yeah, my gag because it was mostly healed, and then I found a 17 pounder, and then I had to heal it again. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, Wait. watch what happens on that yag. Oh, watch this is very egg. bad. I was very angry. <laughs> Whoops! There goes my oh, bed wow. friend of yours. Oh, oh shit! Wow, oh shit! Nice. 17 pounder! Hans, get us back! Get us back! No, I, I don't have a rearview mirror. Just go backwards. Goosh. What was that? I don't know. Just Are no. you? <laughs> yeah, they're just freaking oh, out. Oh man, that was terrible. Those guys fought hard too. I, I thought something killed it. I thought the 17 pounder shot it, and then yeah. Bridger was like, "No, that was." You know, yeah. Like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, he said. He said, "Damn it, they got my HQ," and I'm like, "Uh, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, oh, they got boy. your HQ." This is a bombing one. I got my oh. panther out of there here before though. Yeah, that that's. Gonna I, hurt I heard it coming in. I tried to move my my grenadiers, but uh, not gonna happen. Those damn commandos killed my uh, folks that had survived the whole game on the left hand side. Those punks. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, jeez. They're so. Oh, man. Oh, no. That Yag is not in happy places. No, so this is. Oh, that. boy. <laughs> He's just surviving so much damage, though. Yeah, he That's keeps having to get repaired. so much damage to the heavy tanks. Like, holy crap. I think I've got advanced repair uh, by this point, too. I fired too. assault by accident. I was very angry. I yeah, wanted to use uh, Inspire uh, Prop War on the guys in the north, but I hit the wrong yeah, button. Was oh, there. no. <laughs> the Yagi Panzer's got a like, damaged like, engine damage, now. Though. Like, crap. And wow, look at this. He's got another Firefly. He's got the Cromwell. Yeah, He's got the 17-pounder. This is the bleakest days of the game for us. Yeah. But look, my pack is hitting the Firefly again. <laughs> yeah, it's doing pack. quite a bit of damage. And then my Panther's coming in. Have some fun. Oh, bet one for the win. Blam. Oh. So close. That's bad. So that's close. bad. Oh, oh, I was no. so mad. That he oh, got, man. yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, what what just happened there? <laughs> Shrek on One of the assault grenadiers got sniped yeah. by a. Oh, wow. Now, that's a big push on the right. Yeah. Now this one squad, do, this one squad of Panzer Grenadiers. I had just upgraded to to the four man squad, and this one squad of Panzer Grenadiers have been like fighting and reinforcing, and then running around the corner and fighting <laughs> again. There, he finally got enough for prop war. Now look at this. This HQ has like twenty, maybe fifteen percent health left. It lasts for like the next ten minutes. Yeah. It's retarded. <laughs> I, can't, I kept uh. thinking I was gonna lose it. I'm like, okay, that's it. We can't reinforce over here anymore. This is probably game over. But that was only fake commando smoke. Now he's dropping the real stuff. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh no. Oh. E and I killed my knight's cross too, running through the middle. <laughs> that was uh, not fun. Wow. Me. Well, at least the king tiger's almost repaired. <laughs> That'll do so much good. <laughs> Considering it killed nothing and took over half damage. <laughs> That's awesome.
It killed seven buildings, though. <laughs> that's probably because it, it ran over all the sandbags and my Grenadier's bills. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, the Yagged Panther at least has two tanks and one building. Your HQ. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a... It's it. not my fault. Oh, man. Oh, man. It should record friendly fire, too. And then the tank crew should be shot for treason. <laughs> And then on the left hand side, see I needed pop cap, didn't I, Chris? Was I at was I at pop cap right now? Uh no, but you don't have any manpower. There you go. Yeah, I just wanted to get more map control. You're trying to this. chase them off. And they're yeah. not they're they're losing because they're not firing back because they're running forward. I was afraid that he was gonna lead me into an IED. I was actually expecting that. I was like, yeah, he put one on the road and he's gonna run me right into it. That's son of a Oh, and this is where you're like, I'm I'm concentrating on the right trying to repair stuff. You're like, look what I found on the left! <laughs> An HQ command truck. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> and then immediately look what's moving off the right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna reposition my King Tiger. If I had known he meant all the way to the left, I would have been like, you idiot, it's gonna take six hours. But I thought he just meant like he was gonna move it up here or something. And I'm so no, I like, wanted to kill that damn HQ truck. I could have built a head surf or something. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the 17 pounder on the mortar half track. Yeah, he got my mortar half track. This one's still alive. My double vet's still alive, though. See, I was really afraid here that they would see all these repairing PGs Ooh. and do what oh, they, they just did. did. Yeah. yeah. But oh, my no. PGs survived a lot of. Okay, well, no, they didn't. They, they, they did <laughs> decently able to survive a lot of the artillery incoming. They have so much. They have a lot of massed armor right now, just waiting for that final push. Yeah, look at this. We got a Firefly, a Cromwell, and oh, wait, we got some. They're behind. looking really Depends strong on the right hand side now. Look at that. Oh, this yeah. is really bad for us. Yeah, you only got the yeah, one Shrek squad in there. And my pack, too. But the pack, you know, oh. it's already too late for the pack to help. For some reason they weren't shooting, and finally they decided to fire. There you go. Yeah, that took too long. Oh, but a yeah. grenade. Oh, they jumped out in time. Man, that, that HQ is just healing the guys. It's still there at like 15% <laughs> yeah. health. I couldn't believe King they didn't Tiger just shoot that. parked in front of Bridger's base. <laughs> 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 it's parked. Now he's moving again. He got over <laughs> HQ. These packs have been so helpful in throwing off the enemy armor. Just like, oh crap, I'm getting hit constantly. I better back up. Yeah. And I'm just seeing Sherman after Sherman being produced from... Uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, Jeez, that's a lot of allied armor. Whoa. Yeah, no kidding. Could and be there's the King Tiger. It's soon. almost there. It's almost there. <laughs> it's gonna crush some Hedros just to show how manly it is. Actually, it just stopped. It's like, Damn no, it. we don't want to destroy the Hedros. <laughs> they are our friends. So I think, Somehow is this the point? The right is this the point where we decided it's time for another push and we see like six armor and we're like, oh no, maybe not. Yeah, this is when we were going to push and they decided to beat us to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's see, a lot of carnage. And, and if you notice that my MGs couldn't get in the bunker, you see that? <laughs> yeah. What that the hell is up with me. that? Yeah. And they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> so I built that MG essentially for nothing. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no. I was very upset. The Shermans probably could use a little bit of movement, because right now the frontal armor is not towards us. Yeah. And he's yeah. going after the bunker instead gonna... of the HQ, unfortunately for him. Yeah, that's going to be a bad thing for a Sherman. Oh. See, I was moving my pack back to uh, catch any retreating tanks that were going to try to run away. Dude, I, I would almost see, uh, save for the amount of infantry that is on the field. Of course, this is another hindsight 2020 perspective, but uh, Nebels or Stukas yeah. seem like they would be uh, just tear apart that vetted rifleman crap that yeah. keeps harassing on that right hand side there. I really wanted to keep my munitions for prop war to hold on to the VPs. Like, even if we did lose the right, I just wanted to spam prop war. <laughs> complete punk. And on the, the left hand side, I'm finally making my push with knights and. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. But I didn't want to send it in alone because I knew it would land in big trouble. Yeah, that's usually a bad idea. Because, you see, now he's repositioning his uh, armor, and he's going to get it repaired and then attack. And unfortunately, I was an idiot and popped assault grenades on three-man squad, because I'm But it didn't do anything somehow. Yeah. It only threw one grenade, unfortunately. Yeah. 
pretty awesome. Wow. 50 munitions. You can't beat it, man. I guess not. This is a lot of infantry. Oh, look at all the stickies. Man, this My is a Damage engine, anyone? Yep. And fire up. Oh. I was trying to run him over, see, on the on the left-hand <laughs> side, but, <the> <laughs> yeah. but it wasn't working very well. Oh, boy. Now, you know, this worked really well, because now we can check out the right-hand side and see that he has repositioned all his armor, so my infantry are just ready to push forward and do whatever here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So that, that, that was a good nice diversionary kill. attack, even though I meant for that to be a really full-fledged attack. It just, it tend, it, it just, it worked out in the end. But, uh, check out the M10 oh. hunting down the King Tiger right now. This is bad news. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Bad news bears right there. Yep. <laughs> the M10's even like, I can go backwards and kill you. <laughs> We've seen that before. Oh, the wait, M10 crew oh, is so wow, freaking cocky, man. Oh, but his Made gun's gun destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> Perfect timing, too. Yeah, I right? I was so lucky on that. I was so lucky on that. But it's probably another stick he's gonna, you know, finish it off here. There it is. See, I was sending all my knights back in the field, all my low health squads. And this would have been wanted, so oh, much no. different if it was if it was a Terror Tiger Ace. It would have been so much oh, better. Yeah. Because at least I got oh yeah. Because the Tiger Ace could actually do damage to infantry. The King Tiger is like a glorified but really really slow Panther. And everybody says, oh no, the King Tiger is so powerful. I just don't see it. It's got forty percent accuracy against infantry compared to a Tiger's seventy five. I mean, the Tiger misses every once in a while, but when it hits, it blows up the uh, just boom. Whole squad almost out yeah. in flames, and it can do that fairly consistently. But the king misses all the time. Yeah, that's true. Always yeah, I, like I, I didn't even catch how many kills it cover. had. Wow, one of those rifle squads has two tank kills. Holy crap! Yeah. There's and a then here comes a push on the right where we were just deciding to try and end the game. We were, we were actually going to flank up behind middle and then grab that BP too. Wasn't that the plan, Bridger? I think we were just trying to flank into the back and see if there was any more like lucky gems like the uh, like the HQ trucks again, because those were always really fun to find. It was like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I like that analogy. That's excellent. And see, I moved my packs up because I knew the armor would respond to the yagged. So I was gonna oh, move yeah. my packs up to uh, just like lie in wait and have some fun. Oh, this is a bad day. Oh, Jesus. It yeah. really ended up paying off, too. Yeah, the Yag is actually doing fairly well here. It's got, of course, really good against tanks, the main thing uh, that it does. Yeah. Is that M10? Oh, those packs, that beautiful. M10's not going to be happy. Oh, no. How did it deflect two pack shots? Did you see that? Come, yeah, wow, that yeah, was, look at that. Yeah, there goes some Whoa. more. <laughs> Again. Another two. The mor your mortar killed the Cromwell, dude. Your mor <laughs> my mortar half track killed the Cromwell? Yeah, it killed the Cromwell. It has a tank kill, see? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Where is it? Where the fuck? It's, uh, it's right oh, yeah. below my pack. Yeah. <laughs> well then. I thought you were talking about the command tank for a second. I'm like, it's still alive. No. But the see, Cromwell I stole the AT gun here. on the left hand side and I was going to take out the HQ with that. Yeah, I like that. That was very, that was a very asshole idea right there. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yag is immobilized, so it's essentially helpless. And here comes the Allied armor. Look at it. Yeah. Here comes oh look at this. my it, goodness! It finally kills oh, the no. Cromwell command tank. By the time it took these, this squad had two Shreks because I finally got the upgraded Shreks from Tank Hunters, and it took me like six shots to kill that Cromwell command tank. I kept getting the five percent bug. Yeah. Oh, there was a strafing oh, run that killed my packs. Was... I was wondering about that. That oh. wow. That got both of them. That's bad. But that was those those Correct. packs were really helpful in that early battle. Oh wow, that was a good grenade. That was really oh, good. No. He got my guys pinned down it and then he threw it in. Part. Oh wow. This is not good. Now he's you he lost he's so many Shermans. Behind you. That he first did. Sherman died so quickly. Well, it was up against two packs and a yag from yeah. on. <laughs> it wasn't going to have a nice day. Damaged engine was real bad news for me now. Yeah. I'd find it cute if you got a burger tiger and resurrected the king tiger. That's what I was screaming at Bridget. Yeah, that's what like, you're saying right at this point. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that would be fun. oh, come on.
Oh no, there goes the Yag. Oh, there. Yeah. The Yag was definitely worth it though. The Yag did. Uh, I think the Yag had four tank kills at least, and then a bunch of infantry kills, and forced him to retreat like six times. So. I think yeah. Yeah. He just says finally. Cute, but, yeah. Now look how those Vet Three rifles are taking no damage. Are you seeing that? Yeah. All those. Oh yeah. That infantry. That's pretty. Well, crazy. they had the heavy cover too. Yeah. And only one of my squad yeah, was anti infantry. Oh, oh, and he got oh. it. See, we were really scared here, and he used a very nice commando uh, smoke ability to chase me off on the left-hand side, and uh, he just was marauding with that bloody Cromwell. You guys are way up on VPs, though. So. That's true, but they have the momentum right now, and look what we have to hold the right-hand side. A Shrek squad. Yeah. Three-man Shrek squad, and two repair bunkers. <laughs> and that 15% <laughs> HQ. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to micro correctly with the AT gun, but it's failing on the left-hand side. That's too bad. You gotta try yeah, and turn they, they, they it so that it repositions in a position he's going to to avoid the position he thinks you're going to. That's too late. He's screaming at me now to get a burger tiger. I'm like, I don't even have tier four. <laughs> Build it. <laughs> Because I, I knew those heavy tanks, we needed those things. I mean, because right now we have very little combat units on the field, like, in position. So we were in trouble. In Especially now that they're taking the, the thing here. Yeah. I finally got an anti-infantry oh. unit up there. I went through so oh, many good. grenadier squads, it's not oh, even up. funny. Oh, yeah. But look how long it takes. They're, they're capping the VP, which means they're taking extra received okay. damage and stuff, but... Took them forever. Oh, they finally got my HQ. I was pretty sure that was the end now. Cause look at that squad. Yeah. Now is at two. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, Cause it lost wow. the healing. I did put Teller but mines see, down. Here comes all my stuff. Yeah. Here comes my stuff. I put some Teller mines down. I was hoping like you know Teller mine here, Teller mine there. I think one of them might have got the Sherman on the way in or out. But I don't remember. Okay, cause he lost all his armor. I think. Yep, all his armor's gone. Well, that Except was the big the fight with the Yag Panther. Purple. It took him, it cost him yeah. all his armor to uh, fight off the Yag Panther. So now there's a big fight. Now we're, we're broken up into I, you know, I lost, I've lost everything Ooh. now, holding the right while he was doing the diversionary tactic, and now he's just got everything. He's taking the right and the left back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my knights cross, unfortunately, no matter how awesome they are, can't find a cro can't fight a Cromwell. Yeah. Knights cross are just getting owned by these rifles. Yeah, that's annoying. I picked up the LMG from the the friendly fired team in that yeah. building. <laughs> oh, Which nice was... grenade. Nice. Oh. And Grenadier Grenade did little to nothing. I mean, I remember thinking, like, wow, you have three squads shooting at two men and they're fine. <laughs> That's so <laughs> awesome. Covering fire! Covering fire! Ooh, yeah. And we got another Firefly. Oh, no, a Knight's Cross somebody. retreating through the middle dies. Yeah. I meant to yeah. point it out earlier. I wonder how many squads we lost, like four or five, Oh, probably. God, tons of squads. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of making this small building an HQ just because I'm like, we can't. <laughs> we can't do anything. And then you're like, get him out of that building, man. Get him out of the building. Yeah. He's going to fire. And I'm like, but I need an HQ. And he says, build God, a freaking infantry half track. Yeah. He says, build an infantry. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I used God. prop because I didn't want to deal with those damn commandos again. <laughs> yeah. It was really a boon to us that he put his HQ way the hell over there. When it was over here, we couldn't deal with it. Yeah. Get him out of the building! Get him out of the That's building! That's what no! he was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's such a funny dude, you? seriously. Just this tiny little shack in the middle of nowhere, like... It's I was almost like, about to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's, it's, it's so little, it's gonna get destroyed instantly. But look how long that other one lasted at 15%. It might work. Oh my, your fans are force spamming. Very good idea. Yeah, I was just tired of everything, so I decided to say, how oh, the hell with you? <laughs> yeah, you guys have enough infantry on the field, and now armor's just gonna be like, oops. <laughs> GG. Oh. oh, that's a horrible idea. Oh, you had OP'd the, the munitions. I forgot you'd done yeah. that. Yeah, I needed that, because if I, I figured if I was <laughs> yeah. gonna go terror and I wanted to drop about a thousand V1s, I'd need that. And I was needing it for all the squads. I was, I was like, I was like, basically the only thing I was building was more grenadier squads because they kept dying. So they, I just kept building them from my HQ. <laughs> they ran over here, and then when I found them again, I'm like, okay, I need anti-infantry now, and I need to upgrade MP44s. Yeah. See now. Got a really sneaky sniper on the right hand yeah. side. Yeah. 
He's sneaky. Even detect, did he detect the teller mine? I think he did. It looks like it. No. Maybe. Probably not. But oh, see, man, look pushing. at these vet rifles, and I have so little to hold it. I have nothing. These guys can't hold them. <laughs> Two and grenade. Toss, and then the. Uh, can't toss a grenade, isn't he? Right at you. Yeah, probably. Uh, he's gonna snipe your last guy. Oh, the teller mines revealed the sniper. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that. And there's oh. my MG. <laughs> the oh, I did kill the Shrek squad though. That's bad. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. see, see on the left hand side what I did because I knew that the Allies oh. might drop artillery on the wreck of the King Tiger, and I didn't want that to happen because I would destroy the wreck. So I decapped the sector so they couldn't see the repair. And oh my God, are you guys actually? Too. Oh my God. Yeah. Let oh me see. God. This rifle squad has 16 infantry kills. God. This one has nine. That one has 19 infantry kills and two tank kills and a light vehicle kill. It's just inappropriate. Those rifles were just that devastating. That's big trouble. Oh yeah. Wow, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, let's, let's move. It. We're moving in. We're moving in. Oh. <laughs> he hit the retreat button the instant it died. <laughs> yeah. He's like the <laughs> the wow. sniper's like the, the sniper. Hey, we need you to retreat. You think it all. <laughs> really? KT is almost up again, gentlemen. God. Rising. I was really that's, that's gonna be unexpected. That. That's unnecessary. Look at the VPs right now. I was really expecting them to shell that. I was amazed. And there's Bridger's first infantry half track at fifty six <laughs> minutes into the game. <laughs> I don't play you don't need ER. Leave me alone. God. <laughs> The last ditch effort. <laughs> it's getting it's owned by a firefly. Too. Oh no. That's not, that's not nice. Now oh, you hear, no, we're at 12 one. VPs, right? And he says to me, okay, I've got enough for prop war. We've got this. And I'm like, you've got enough for prop war? Is that what you just said? Because I'm paying attention over here. He's like, yes. I'm like, yes, we win. <laughs> so you say GG. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this reliving of last night. How many night munitions do I have right now, Chris? Do I have uh, 230. Oh, okay. So I had enough for two. Yeah. And then I think at the I very end, he said he was going to drop a V1. It yeah, I did. Down, right though. on the the Vet Three Airborne on the right hand side. Oh no. Oh yeah, it called in. Yep. Here it comes. <laughs> oh boy. Well, the croc is raining away. to be on the on all the grenadiers. Here comes and the V1. Aww. I was very disappointed it didn't go off. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of sad. Oh, that oh, was a great oh my game, God. though. That I is see a, it! That is a time-traveling crocodile! No, 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 do you see the V1? Zoom out and uh, zoom down to the ground level and go back to the American player's base. The V1 is just about to hit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man, that's Oh, awesome. there it is! It yep, you see it? Wow, that's oh, no, cool. Is... You, you got, see it, it's, it's actually ho hovering over the center of the map. Is what yeah. it is. It's right oh. over the center. <laughs> that's really crazy. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. That's so close. That it looks like a UFO from there. this far away. It totally does. <laughs> yeah, it does. What could Holy that be? Jesus. All right, now, now <laughs> come so see bad. what I see. Look on the look at the crocodile on the right hand side. It is a DeLorean crocodile, ladies and gentlemen. It's just got to get to 88 <laughs> miles an hour, and it's what it's doing. It's gonna, it's gonna go back to 1985. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> it's peeling out, man. Both the Shreks are reloading. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> the same. He's firing the Shreks <laughs> yeah. at him at the same moment. It would have been dead. It, oh man. Oh, yeah. I wish we had let him decap them just so we could see what happened. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys look at the at the firefly, you guys see the firefly over by the by all the the buildings on the left hand side. Now look from ground level towards middle. You see the V one directly coming in. Look at that! It's just <laughs> flying oh. straight. Look at that. That's a, that would be a direct hit, dude. <laughs> I don't even see it. Oh, that's that so horrible. Is it? That's a, look how destroyed the map is on the right hand side. It's oh, just there gone. It is. Every building obliterated on the left-hand side, gliders and, and bro broken tanks, and the King Tiger's up to half health. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great game. Oh, yeah. Man. And yeah, look had, how many... I want to count. I want to count how many wasted AT guns, because the American player did amazing yeah. with his rifleman. He got him to vet three. He, he retreated did. when he needed to. But oh. let me see. Okay, this is... That's a pack. So let me see. <laughs> Here's one 57 mil. Here's another one, but that one's... Okay, so that one's alive. You probably captured that one. There's two. 
And let me see. There's at least an, there was at least another one that was um, I'd say about three or here. four were used on oh, the left There's another side one on the right. Yeah. So there's at least three that were abandoned on the right. And, and there was uh, one on the left that didn't get destroyed, and there were about three that did. <laughs> yeah. So I think the dropping of and supply drops in his base. Yeah. yeah. Wow! Look at that. Yeah, he's got enough mortars and <laughs> machine guns to last him the rest of the war. Check out those <laughs> rifles, though. They're fine. <laughs> they're just yeah. they're yeah. They they would be ready for combat again, and nothing would be able to kill them. Yeah. Nothing. Twenty one. This is the same one. It got another kill. Twenty one kills of infantry. Ooh. Two vehicle kills and two tank kills. Yep. Ridiculous. <laughs> There's that airborne squad that killed your Yag guarding the Yag corpse. Um, appropriately enough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That thing is almost dead too. <laughs> the but wreck. here's here. Let's look at the middle because the middle had a 17 pounder and a a, a trench with a Brend infantry company in it, backed up by a Vickers MG, backed up by a Mortars Pit, backed up by a Boffers. Before that, it was backed up by another 17-pounder, backed up by a 25-pounder, another, another trench that that yeah. uh, that had um, Piots in it, and they yeah. had, you know, all of their armor, AT guns. There's no way you crack that. <laughs> I, I feel like that's there's got to be, I mean, you know, people say the answer to that is not let it happen. We tried. We tried not to yeah. let it happen. I spike spammed and it hurt me really bad. Uh, yeah. As soon as that first trench got up, we had nothing. Nothing. We couldn't do it. Because I, I even got him out of the trench and I even killed that squad. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Because nope. they just deleted the trench and then I couldn't use it and they still had the mortar and oh man. We did our then best. Then you lost those two squads earlier too. Yeah. We did our best to midgetate. Like he built all this stuff in the middle. We did our best to midgetate its usefulness by ignoring it basically. Is midgetate a word? I, yeah. I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> is? Oh, man. Do we have short people in the audience that are annoyed with my choice of words? I mean, it's a real word. What's uh, the screenshot oh. keep? Oh, my God, look at this. Oh. I never saw this during the game. He's got an airborne squad at the very far south going for the victory point. Oh, <laughs> well, I would have just propped him, dude. I just would have propped uh, him. No, that's true, but if he would have got... If he had a machine gun squad cap in the north, you wouldn't have had enough to prop both. Ooh. Yeah, you only got 98 right now. Wow. But... You know, oh, I didn't. I... I didn't realize how, how close it was. He must have recon and then dropped it like you know, ten, twelve seconds too late for that airborne squad to matter. What's the screenshot screenshot key for this game, guys? Do you remember? Is it F12? What is print it? screen? Yeah. Maybe is it print, print screen? screen? Okay. Because I'm looking at my okay. grenadier in my base, and he looks really happy. <laughs> he looks awesome. <laughs> looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's just standing there with the LMG, just holding it. Yeah, he's fine. I am going to break you. <laughs> he has a building kill, so we'll can, just leave can it you get a, You should get a oh, screenshot of that 22-kill <laughs> rifle squad. Oh, God. If we I need still... to get a picture of that V1, too. That's yeah. really funny. I can't yeah, hit my print that. screen key, because I've got another program that does print screens, but right now I have it set to take a rectangle and not the window. There you go. Between these two That's... rifles, between these two rifles, they got 37 infantry kills... Four vehicle kills and two tank kills. Because that rifle a squad lot. has that rifle squad has a uh, a recoilless and that one has a Panzer Shrek. <laughs> and then they got bars. Oh, isn't that poetic? Why don't you guys give him awesome. sticky bombs too? Oh, he did. I know. <laughs> yeah. While we're at it, why don't you give him a tank cannon and teller mines? Uh, wait, right. wait, wait. There was that one guy who suggested giving the bazooka upgrade to um, Rifleman. Oh, God. I still like the Back <laughs> to the Future DeLorean crocodile. That's the best thing ever. That's, gonna, that's the flux capacitor crocodile right there. We got to take a screenshot of that, too. That's definitely over 9,000. <laughs> oh, my God. We've got to stop using <laughs> stupid internet references and close out the show. Thanks, guys, for perfect. tuning in to another exciting episode. A uh, very exciting episode of Tales of Heroes. Thank you to Pounder and thank you to Rogers again for being on the show. And thank you to the bird for not shutting up. <laughs> bird, I'm going to spray it in the face as soon as it's over. It's like water bath time for the bird. All right. No, no, don't be happy about that. <laughs> Shut up. This is 15 minutes of Bridger arguing with his bird. All right, so anyway, <laughs> the show's really over. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. 
uh, remember, if you enjoyed the show as much as we did <laughs> recording it, send us a donation. Tales.gamefire.com. Look for the donation button on the right-hand side. If you feel the guilt piling up because you get all of this free entertainment and you feel like you want to give something back to us, we really appreciate it. Tales.gamefire.com. Sponsored by you. Thanks, guys.